America the beautiful, and nowhere is it more beautiful than northwestern Minnesota. Representing this beautiful country in Washington is 7th District Congressman Odin Langen. Here's our man in Washington, Mr. Langen. If you've noticed that the $5 bill you bought a pair of shoes with a year ago won't buy a pair for your youngster this year, then you know what inflation means. Your dollars just won't buy as much because they've dropped in value. I would like to discuss inflation with you for a few moments. What it means to you, why we have it, and what we can do about it. I realize the Secretary of Agriculture warned that political candidates should slip, slide, and duck the issue of inflation and said not to get caught in an argument between our farmers and our housewives. However, inflation is much too important an issue to duck. And I'm willing to bet there's no real argument between farmers and housewives because they're both faced with the same problem, how to stretch those hard-earned dollars in order to make ends meet. And I'm just like any other husband. When prices go up, I hear about it from my wife. The trouble with the federal government planners is that they are constantly trying to blame someone for inflation. But they should look in the mirror. You and I know perfectly well that if we spend a dollar on food, we can't spend that same dollar on something else. We might charge a few items, but we know the bill comes due at the end of the month. Our federal government hasn't learned that simple economic fact. Government will spend a dollar on one thing and then spend it again on something else, borrowing as it goes along. And when the bill comes due, they just refinance it again and add some more to it. The national debt keeps going up and the big spenders try to tell us that this is perfectly all right. The folly of such thinking is evident. For instance, the supply of money for credit dries up when the government keeps borrowing so much. Then the interest rates rise. Interest rates rose this year to the highest level in 35 years. Not only are your dollars worth less than before, but you have to pay more for credit if you can get it at all. It creates a real problem for our young people starting out in life. They need credit to get an education, go into business, or set up housekeeping, but they have trouble getting credit because the federal government continues to spend more each year than it takes in. When inflation eats away at the value of your money, the working men and women are forced to seek higher wages. Higher wages cause higher prices on the things we buy. The spiral goes up and up, and it won't stop until the federal government itself puts its fiscal house in order. The people who suffer most from this spiral of inflation are our older people living on Social Security, pensions and savings, and other people on fixed incomes. They can't bargain for higher wages. They can only further cut back on the things they need. The trend can be reversed, but the federal government must provide the leadership and the initiative. This is what I continue to fight for from my position on the House Appropriations Committee. The administration has a two-thirds majority in Congress and could stop unnecessary spending, but the only savings we've seen that have come through the efforts of a few of us who long ago recognized the danger of deficit spending. I recall back in 1959 when I noted the major concerns facing Congress, peace and the soundness of our domestic economy. And it's still true today. Unchecked federal spending on the domestic scene is not only threatening your income, but is threatening our efforts in Vietnam. I believe you expect me to work for a sound dollar. I will continue those efforts in the future as your representative in Congress. Keep experience working for our district, a big man for one of America's biggest jobs. Re-elect Odin Langen to Congress. Vote Langen.